Trinity friends, I am Miss Jen and I am here this morning for Children's Chapel. I am so glad that you're here with us today. Let's go ahead and start our time together with a song. Are you ready? This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Good job, everybody. This day is a day that the Lord has made. And every day I wake up and I think that, and it brings me joy. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our cross. We still look, we have white on our cross again because we're still in the season of Christmas. And we're gonna light our candles to remember that this is a time to be peaceful and to remember that God is with us. God is always with us. And while we're in the Christmas season, we're remembering when Jesus was with us here on earth. God was with us as Jesus here on earth. That was a really neat thing. Now, let's go ahead and say our prayers for today. The Children's Liturgy of the Word. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God be with me when I think. God be with me when I think. God be with me when I speak. God be with me when I speak. God be with me in my heart. God be with me in my heart. Oh dear God, let us never part. Oh, dear God, let us never part. And now it's time for the Apostles' Creed. We believe in God above. We believe in God above. We believe in Jesus' love. We believe in Jesus' love. We believe in the Spirit, too. We believe in the Spirit, too. Who comes to tell us what to do. Who comes to tell us what to do. And now it's the prayers of the people. I'll say the prayer, and then you're going to respond, Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders and everyone in our church. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of our world so we can live in peace. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for our teachers to help us so we can learn and be more like you. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for our families that your love will fill our hearts. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for the boys and girls and their families who are hungry, and we give thanks for those who help them. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who are sick or sad. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who have died. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray you will be with us in all we do. Jesus, hear our prayer. Now, are there any special prayer requests today? You can write them in the comments, or you can say them out loud, or you can just say them in your heart. And we ask all these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And now it's the confession. Dear God. Dear God. I am sorry I have done things. I am sorry I have done things. I should not have done. I should, I should not have done. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. For hurting friends and those I love. For hurting friends and those I love. Please help me to do better. Please help me to do better. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, God, for your love. Now let's go ahead and look at our Bible for today's lesson. Now today, we're going to read about the three wise men. And because on Wednesday, on January 6th, we celebrate what's called Epiphany. And on Epiphany, we remember the wise men. So let's go ahead and read about the wise men from the book of Matthew, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Matthew chapter two. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea. This happened while Herod was the king of Judea. After Jesus's birth, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, where's the child who has been born to the king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose now we have come to worship him. When King Herod
Herod heard about it, he was very upset. Why do you think King Herod was upset about hearing about a king being born? I think it made him a little bit nervous. He was the king. He didn't want someone coming and challenging his power. So he was a little upset about this. Everyone in Jerusalem was troubled too. So Herod called together all the chief priests of the people. He also called the teachers of the law. He asked them where the Messiah was going to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, this is what the prophet has written, he said. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are certainly not the least important among the towns of Judah. A ruler will come out of you. He will rule my people Israel like a shepherd. And that was found in the book of Micah. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men. He found out from them exactly when the star appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem. He said, go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report it to me. Then I can go and worship him too. Do you think he really wanted to find him to worship him? Remember, he was a little worried about this new king taking his power. So after the wise men had listened to the king, they went on their way. The star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them. It finally stopped over a place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. The wise men went to the house. There they saw the child with his mother, Mary. They bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasures. They gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But God warned them in a dream not to go back to Herod. So they returned to their country on a different road. I always thought that was a really neat story. So the wise men saw a star and the star led them to the baby Jesus and his mother. Mary and Joseph and they bowed down and they worshiped him. And do you remember what they brought him? They brought him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Those are all kind of spices. Sometimes um, you can find essential oils that you can smell what they smell like. It's a really neat smell. Now, so we have Epiphany this week, and we think about the wise men coming upon this new baby. What else are we celebrating this year that's new? I said this year, I just gave away the answer. What are we celebrating this week that's also new? The new year, that's right. So this year, when I think about this Epiphany story, I'm thinking about the wise men and I'm thinking of them following the star. But I want us to also think about us and us following Jesus this year. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited about this new year. We can think about the new blessings, the new hopes, the new joys that are going to come. And I don't know about you, but it gets me excited. I love the new year. And I bet it's kind of the same excitement. Probably, well, I, I was going to say the same as the wise men, but I bet the wise men's excitement and joy was pretty, pretty profound. Let's go ahead and say our prayer before we go. Dear God, thank you for leading us into this new year, like you led the wise men to Jesus. And all of God's children said, Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me for Children's Chapel today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon, and I will see you very soon. Remember that I love you. Remember that God loves you. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.